All right. Welcome, everybody. What's up? Welcome. <laughs> we can do the comic book club uh, this week. I'm sorry. I got to interrupt. Doing... It's the comic book book club. Comic book book club. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's all good. I'm going to get it one day. <laughs> Corey, I get uh, everybody gets it wrong. I get it wrong, too. I'm just joking. <laughs> So uh, we do, we're kicking it off with Jessica Jones 10. Um, I believe this is the first uh, Secret Empire crossover for Jessica Jones. Right. Am I correct? So uh, full spoilers. Yeah. The, is it a Secret Empire crossover? So yeah, did you see got, the cover? Yeah, it's got the, sim, the Hydra symbol on the cover. Yeah, it's the Hydra symbol. It the, doesn't feel like a crossover, though. It it's weird, doesn't. right? Right. Uh, no. Right. That, I mean, there's nothing that – if you read that issue and didn't know that that Hydra symbol was on the front, you wouldn't have any idea yeah. that it has anything to do with the Secret Empire. But So I, I got to say, though, it feels like this Jessica Jones storyline is almost like the basis that kicked it off, right? Like, I mean, S.H.I.E.L.D. is working for Cap, yes? Right, yes. And, and the whole fact that Maria left – and is seeking Jessica's help before Secret Empire even happened, it seemed like whatever's going on there has to play a big part in it. Yeah. You know? I wouldn't be surprised if she has some sort of large role eventually. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's not featured in the main Secret Empire series, really, but um, if she's involved with Maria Hill, that's big in and of itself. Right. So, But, apparent, but if, if they're in the middle of what's going on with Secret Empire right now, then they're under the bubble. And it didn't even talk about that, right? Right. No. Yeah. <laughs> it did. Right. And we get a and we get a hobgoblin appearance. <laughs> Just randomly thrown in there. Which uh, was awesome. It was awesome. That I haven't seen him in a long time and I was super hyped when and like I probably went over that panel like five times. <laughs> yeah. I just thought the artist kinda nailed it. I love that art style anyway. But to do Hobgoblin in that art style is phenomenal. Who is the Hobgoblin right now? <laughs> I don't know. Is I, I mean, it's Demon Hobgoblin, right? Or is it just normal Hobgoblin? I, I don't know. I feel like last time I saw the Hobgoblin in Spider-Man book, he was some guy I never heard of. Before. I saw that <laughs> pumpkin. Throw it in the comments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, I did, uh, backing up the last time we had this conversation about Cap lifting the hammer. Um, they don't explain how or why he, he can do it yet. And they oh. said that, but he is, Nick Spencer is riding with Jason Aaron, and they already came to this conclusion together as to how he can do it. So okay. I guess it's going to be revealed at some point. I think it plays into whatever's going on in that alternate, you know, Red Skull cap world, oh, bearded sure. cap world. Yeah. Right. I think that has something to do with. Him lifting the hammer, but I, I you know, well, can't prove it yet. We're anyway, veer, we're veering off. Spoilers on different topics. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, the I love the hobgoblin appearance. I was excited when I saw the pumpkin come through the Me window because I yes. did that too. Yeah. Was. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Um, that was yeah, cool with her questioning Maria Hill, yeah. realizing that it was a decoy, and then like. Our, how do I know you're not a decoy too? And then right. she just right. doesn't trust anything about her, which she shouldn't. You know. No. It's, <laughs> so. And she's been through the ring already with all the scroll invasion stuff, so <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if she arrived right. there already. But uh, <laughs> what did y'all think about the ending? You think her mom's gonna give up some prize info? And who's that PI? Yeah. So yeah. it's weird. The her mom obviously helped her. By watching the baby and whatnot earlier yeah. in this series, right? So, right, she must be on better terms with her mom than yeah. has been in the past. Um, so who knows, you know? But right away, she seemed like, "Oh, you're a PI chasing down my PI? Yeah, let's talk," sort of thing. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I feel like it's almost just like a, the way it was presented. It's almost like entertainment value for her mom. You know right. what I mean? That's what I, that's yeah. how I took it. She could yeah. totally lead her in the wrong direction, too. So we'll see. Right. Yeah, for sure. I thought it was a good issue. I mean, it wasn't like a... I, I mean, honestly, the, the Hobgoblin appearance made it for me. Sure. sure. And it's yeah. so, so randomly thrown in. So, there was 
What's up with Maria's dad? Is yeah, throwing just chucking her, her out the window. Is he uh, yeah. superpowers or something? Or? I thought that was a just a comic value sort of move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's weird though because she was like, "Dude, step back! I got super." Yeah, and, and then yeah, through the window. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. So it seems like there might be something going on with him if you take that at face value. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything How did about him. She, yeah, I don't know. How did she find his her dad even she's a pi dirk yeah <laughs> what she does right but maria hill you would think maria hill you know yeah. like yeah. would be a ghost in the system but yeah yeah i have to totally. ask business yeah, yeah right, sweet totally. well yeah another good issue i feel like uh we're kind of back to the last issue was kind of like a break uh go hang out with the hubby and the kid for a while and stuff and now we're back on the case you yeah, know, it, it does. Again, it feels like a a, a detective story, again, or the, or the start of one. So I'm kind of excited to see where it goes. And look, I yeah. think the last note I'll make here: I really love the idea of the artist staying on with the writer. Yeah, having a team in place just keeps the uniformity, and it keeps you coming back to the book. In my For opinion, sure. I when you switch artists up multiple times, it just loses the sort of the same feel. Uh, I just think that's incredible, and that art again fits the series so well. For sure, hundred percent. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, right. everybody. We'll see you for issue eleven, huh? Yeah. Eleven. All right. All right. Later. Later. <laughs>